music here we, we want to do, and, and the main part of it's the music. And, and hopefully uh, it'll be stuff that you like. Uh, the general plan is here. Unfortunately, sorry to say, the first performer uh, got sick, and he just called me, and she's not going to be here. <laughs> but um, Olivia and I are going to just do a little cup openers for you. Um, and um, then um, Matt and uh, James. Uh, Matt and James will be coming up to play, and Olivia and I will join them. So we'll need one more chair, probably for that. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, and uh, following that, um, uh, Mike Lane, uh, great mandolin player back there. He and I are going to do some stuff together, and uh, then Heather and. Bob and I are going to play together. Louise, uh, good banjo player. Then Norman, who's teaching here right now, he gets done in a little while. He and I are going to do some tunes together. And then Charlie Becker, who we're very fortunate to have, he plays in Astoria as well. And we'll do a few numbers. And then we'll probably take a little break and go from there. Thank you very much. And as a general artichoke announcement, there's a bathroom over here. There's a bathroom around the side in the back. We have a few CDs out front. And there's lots of posters about upcoming events at Artichoke. So it's a great spot. So and who all's here for the first time? OK, welcome. has been coming here since it was on Hawthorne. Yeah. <laughs> so our first tune is called Johnson Boys. type. <laughs> so <laughs> here goes. Maybe I should take this. It's that lesser known classical banjo. 
Join the party. So uh, first we'll do the um, girl left behind me. Okay. First tune we're going to do is the girl left behind me, which is a story about a guy who had this nice lady friend, and uh, but he got restless and wanted to travel around and have fun, so he did. And when he was away, he discovered she found somebody else.
joining us is going to be uh, Olivia and, and Steve, is that right? And James. James. <laughs> do like the intro one time and then uh, we'll do uh, three times uh, repeat the main part. Okay. Should we alternate? Or mm -hmm. uh, yeah, uh, that's, that's right. Uh, so um, um, why don't you start first, then you, and then you, okay. and then all, then all together. How about that? Okay, so, so we're doing the, the A. Part once and the B part three times. So the A part ju is just the intro. intro. We're just all the repeats will be the B part. Okay. So it would actually be four times total. Right? So should we all play the intro? Mm -hmm. Should we all play the intro melody? Uh, uh, yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> um, I think just why don't you take the intro? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay.
Next one is a Bill Monroe tune. Who out there plays Jerusalem Ridge? Yeah. Okay. And do you want to count it in? Sure. Okay. Yeah. Uh, one, two, one, two, three. Four. Well, you want to announce the first tune we're doing? Uh, Sando Aceta. She's coming down from the mountain. Maybe.
take it from the top. Cause, uh, yep. Yep. Yeah. One and two. One. One.
Okay, so Heather and Bob, I think it's our time. Yay, Heather and Bob. <laughs> Yay, Heather and Bob. up higher here. Sure. Do you, want, do you want me to raise that for you? No. I just am going to. So the plan is lead, you can do the second lead, then we'll all play together. The next one is Wildwood Flower. I bet a lot of you folks know that one. Mother Maybell Carter made that famous. The banjo thing, it's like, they said with the lute players, I maybe have heard this before, but if you play the lute for 80 years, 60 of them were spent tuning. <laughs> well, you know what a banjo sounds like when it's in perfect tune? <laughs> no. Nobody else does either. <laughs>
uh, Heather has a story about the next one we're going to do, but she will tell you. Yeah. <laughs> What's the next one she's going to do? She, she's doing. You can stay here. If you you know. can stay here. <laughs> So um, I was looking in my banjo newsletter about four years ago, and I found this song. Talking to your mic a little, yeah. You want, you want to be here? Again? No, I don't. <laughs> anyway, it's called the Family Bible, and um, it's a, it's a song that was written by Willie Nelson. Uh, so I delved into it a little bit, and I found out in the 1950s when I was growing up in Vancouver, Washington. He lived in Vancouver, Washington, and I had no idea. He was a DJ on a local uh, radio station. Um, and he, his second daughter was born in Vancouver. He had a house, but <clears throat> he wasn't making enough money, so he went to the radio station that he worked for and asked for a raise, and they turned him down. But his show was very popular, which I thought was interesting, so he just while he was there, he started writing the family Bible, but he decided after he didn't get his raise that he'd move his family to Houston. <coughs> and he finished the song, then he sold it to a fellow named Claude Gray, who was also known as the Tall Texan. Um, he sold it for $50. And Claude Gray um, put it on his album, and it rose to number seven on the country single hit list. So um, in 19, that was in 1959 when Claude Gray recorded it, but then Willie Nelson recorded it and put it on Yesterday's Wine, which is one of his old albums, and it's just been a standard for him since then. But I thought, oh, he lived in Vancouver? <laughs> and I never knew him. But anyway. Um, just to add, uh, just a, an add-end on this is that he wrote this song as, a, as kind of reminiscing back to his childhood when after dinner every night, his dad would gather the family around and read the family's Bible, and his mom would sing Rock of Ages. Yeah, it's pretty disorganized. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Make sure I can make eye contact. 
Tag. Check the banjo <laughs> tuning. So, like, uh, we do each one too. Do we do, I think we do Cripple Creek three times around? Or do you want to do it two? You want to do everything two times around? Mm -hmm. Okay. Is that okay? Yeah. song is a old banjo <coughs> standards called Cripple Creek. Mm -hmm. a one, two, a one, two, three, four. <laughs> song we're going to do is Salt Creek. Okay. Yeah, we're doing three. Oh, we're going to do Salt Creek three as well? Yeah. Wow. All, all right. <laughs> Always. Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> You're switching it up on me. Like one, <laughs> two, oh, one, two, three. <laughs>
we got to chill it out a little bit. <laughs> Sounds good. Uh, the, the, the last number we're going to do is uh, Clinch Mountain and Backstep, and it's one that um, we made famous. Ooh. Anyway, it, it, Can't remember it has the sound of the mountains, you know, the old-timey stuff, but it was uh, bluegrass. interesting sound it's a real bluesy kind of sound and what it has is like the the mind the whole melody of the things in a minor key is minor but the, all the chords that go with it are major yeah yeah cool thanks renee that was fun <laughs> okay uh norman are you out there somewhere norman teaches banjo here by the way <laughs> and we've known each other for a zillion years, I think. <laughs> uh, he was just teaching here earlier. Yeah, yeah, there's Andy. <laughs> oh, that's right. <laughs> um, all right, so you want to do Sandy River Bell? Oh, Which one do we do first? I think Boatman's first. Uh, Boatman's first. first. Oh, yeah, right. sure. Oh, good. It's one, two, all right. <laughs> Thank you. 
here, or what do you want to do um, next? Well, uh, see, I have down here um, Sandy River Bell. But okay, sure. You do. Actually, let's do Sandy River Bell. Okay. That sounds good. This is a tune I really like. Okay. First heard it from an Irish woman uh, in her band, uh, but it's a, it's a song from, from the Americas. <laughs> Times. Okay. Okay. And the last one we're going to do is Angelina, ba Angelina the Baker, Angelina Baker. There's <laughs> various yeah. versions.
have one more here before intermission, and uh, Charlie Becker, great mandolin player from <coughs> Portland <laughs> and Astoria. He plays at a, a, a wine shop up there. <laughs> Charlie's a railroad man of the past, very distant past. <laughs> That's right. I'm an, old, I'm, an old railroad, I'm an old railroad brakeman on a hood river. We'll, we'll sing about that later. Renee, is this good right here? Are we good to go here? I don't want to be too loud. I don't want to be loud enough. Hello. I used to work for this lady right here. We did her wood floors. That made you famous. Okay. <laughs> okay, Renee and I got Renee and I have a certain repertory that we're going to share with you, and it's going to start with some old-timey tunes. And one of the old-timey tunes is Whiskey for Breakfast. We're going to share that with you. It's the first tune I learned. It's not the easiest tune in the world, easiest uh, tune in the world yet. It's the first tune I learned. So we'll, we're going to play that, and then we're going, to mor uh, we're going to morph over into the Jolly Beggarman. We're going to see how that goes, see how they um, medley together. That's, that is actually um, the red-haired boy down in the interval. For those that uh, want to do some deep thinking, okay? If not me. Okay, Renee, let's get this over with. Hmm? <laughs> Here we go. We're going to play Whiskey for Breakfast. Yeah, yeah. Beggarman part.
Thank you. You're so good. You're so good. It's so great to see these old folky folks. Artichoke music. Now, now Olivia brought up an interesting point, which I'm talking about the original artichoke music. Hmm. Where is Olivia? Hi, Olivia. Uh, she did say the point about, do you remember the show, the store on Hawth Hawthorne, which is quite a store. We love that store. Thank you. Thank you. Which is quite a store. Hello. Are you my friend? And the question I have for folks is, do you remember the store on 21st and Northwest 21st, Renee? Right. Huh. Who are you? <laughs> I'm Leslie, of course. Damn, I'm that was a good store. Four blocks away from that store. That inspired me to become the folky that whatever, you know. That was run by people, and Steve Einhorn bought it over, and he, 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 he nurtured that and brought it along, and then he, he also brought it to Hawthorne. What are we doing on Powell Boulevard? But whatever, that's good. That's such a vital thing. I'm so happy to see her and be here. Anyway. Never mind about going on. We're going to sing another song, and I, 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 I well, I'm not going to sing that yet, but we're going to play a tune called Emma's Valsen. This is a Finnish waltz that's, uh, I learned up in Port Townsend, actually. And uh, I want to talk a little bit about a, a term that I learned since I'm living in Astoria, and that is called sisu. And this is a Finnish word. And it's called guts, fortitude, stamina, hanging in there when it's tough. And the story is a has seen its difficulties, and it's um, the most amazing place in a lot of ways. And it's certainly uh, we celebrate its eth ethnicity. So, sisu, fortitude, persistence. That's what it takes, I think. Okay, we're gonna play. Um, we are gonna play um, this old, this great old Finnish waltz. <laughs>
say the great uh, mime, Marcel Serdor, would say it's all about beginnings and endings. The rest in the middle? No, you just fill that in. All right, so uh, the last tune okay. we're going to do, tell You're, about that one. Okay, I will. Renee, thank you for the opening there. I'm an old railroad brakeman out of Hood River, Oregon. I rode on a locomotive for seven years. I feel competent to sing these old railroad tunes, and it is a rich genre of Americana. And we're going to play one tune by the great Southern folky Norman Blake. It's called Down Home Summertime Blues, and I was thinking of this in a story when the ice was on everything. And I was wondering about those summer warm days. Looks like they're back now. So, here we go. I'm talking too much. It's a train song. Nothing more, nothing less. <laughs> Walking down the tracks, crossing all the bridges, rambling all over them long, tall ridges. Lord, I got them down home summertime blues. Well, me and Benny Joe and his brother named Waterboy all went down to sink old Uncle Roy. Lord, I got them down home summertime blues. Well, what's that making that turbo roar all that? Fuss down by the store. Lord, I got them down. in the shady and talking about them downtown ladies but I got them down Comes my favorite verse. Well, well, silver rails, talking wires, and black cross ties, and hobo fires. Lord, I got them down on summertime. Well, I'm sitting on a platform, staring at a boxcar, sliding in a pick and then blue guitar. Lord, I got them down on summertime.
it such a pleasure to play with our old friend Renee and listen to that graceful guitar playing that he always does. And he, we all study from Renee, don't we? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Renee. Well, enjoy. There's lots of good treats back there. And we'll have a little more for you. Oh, yeah. Do some duos and have some, um, we'll have two classical guitar duos and uh, then we'll have some trios. And then Olivia and I will finish out.
finish the program here. We have uh, some duets and some trios and, and some more music. So uh, next is uh, our uh, Bill and Nina Kramer, and they have been playing guitar quite a few years and each doing their own thing kind of, and then they got together and started doing duets, which is really nice. And they were so nice to be willing to c come here and share it with you. So with no further ado, <laughs> <laughs> you tell your own stories from there. <laughs> okay. Well, we get a little change of pace. Uh, we're going to do a couple duets by Karuli. And these are from his Opus 120, number one and three. Okay. <laughs> this is a microphone. We it's different practice, echoes. Yeah. Really. <laughs> okay. One E and uh, two E.
next uh, performance coming up. Uh, Mike Domesh and Ted Haskell, and yours truly. And this is what we do in the morning sometimes. <laughs> The first piece we're going to play is uh, one you may have heard before. It's Pavan by Gabriel Fauré, and beautifully adapted for guitar, I think. kind of old school, that is Mike and I are, we use hard music, but uh, Ted is kind of like more contemporary and <laughs> communicates with the electronic world. Well, I, can, I, can, I can carry all, all my music with me in, a, right. in <laughs> one spot. And as long as your battery doesn't go dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As long as I remember how to use it. Not like me forgetting mine somewhere. <coughs> Why don't you count it down? Okay. One, two, three, four.
second piece, Ted? Uh, yeah, the second piece is uh, written by a contemporary uh, French composer, Jean-Michel uh, Coquery, and it's called Valse en Jazz, number three. Times here. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. All right, Olivia. Olivia, are you in the background there somewhere?
migratory birds. <laughs> So early you heard a joke about banjos tuning, and there's a mandolin equivalent. Mandolin players spend half their lives tuning, and the rest of the time, they're out of tune. Stage. Hopefully. Good job. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to play, uh, first thing we do is a play a tune called Tammy's Gem. And I only wish Tammy was here because she's the one that inspired me for this while I was waiting for her to get her banjo tune. <laughs> <laughs> this tune evolved. <laughs> one, two, oh, one, two, three, four. <laughs>
that song was about pajamas, not tunic. <laughs> <laughs> I was a little hesitant to call it Tammy's Jammy. I, I went to Tam, Tammy's Jam. Ah, <laughs> okay. Anyway, <laughs> so I'm going to do uh, um, She's Saved You? Huh? Do you want to do your other no, original? I'll, no, let's do it. Tell, tell about that one while I get it. <laughs> uh, so we had one Shoro earlier. Uh, and who here is familiar with Shoro? Okay. So we're going to take a detour to Brazil. Uh, and Shoro starts around the same time that we have ragtime here in the States. It, but it just doesn't stop. So imagine if ragtime had kept evolving. You had lots of fun syncopation. You had beautiful melodies. And, and this piece is technically a waltz, but it's from the Shoro tradition. So you'll hear a little bit of that one, two, three, one, two, three rhythm, but also like the, the very typical Shoro changes between sort of major and minor. And keep talking. <laughs> <laughs> it's here somewhere. <laughs> yes. Yes, here. please do. Um, in case there are any of you who are thinking the only people who don't want to drive at night, we're going to start having afternoon concerts in April. Oh, nice. And they'll go from 1 to 2.30. So if you want to drive at night or you know other people that don't want to drive at night, watch our website or get on our newsletter. 
Oh, that would be nice. Yeah, yeah. I'm a little bit of Steve. So, yeah, it'll be the second and third Thursday in every month. We have a slot that the game is coming to do that. So Very if, cool. If you know, it's five to ten playing scale. If you know anyone who has an EBT card, it's free for them. Also, if you're under 18. Very uh, cool. Gary Kedner's sponsor. Another one, just like you are, literally. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah. I'm glad to hear it. Yeah. And, and this, this tune is by Pishiginya. So if you're inspired to go home and learn it, and look for Pishiginya. You ready? Oh, not sure. What was that?
it's time, time to wrap up. For thinking about last songs, would you rather start slow and end fast? Or would you rather uh, um, just go for broke the whole time? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's Corte Jaca. <laughs> so this is one, one more choro. It's called Corte Jaca. It's by Chiquinho Gonzagas. And, and, and so a fun, fun way to end. This is by a female composer. So, you ready? Yep. Two, one, and two. <laughs>
Thank you so much for coming out. Thank you to Artichoke. Thank you for all of our help. Thank you for your help behind the bar. Thank you for your help with the sound. Thanks for your help at the front door. And thanks for playing. It's so good to see you all up here. I hope you had a wonderful night, and we'll see you again soon. And want to thank uh, Artichoke for allowing us and making it possible and for the wonderful sound. And, and everybody here, thank you so much. Feel free to contribute. Uh, we're donating pretty much everything to uh, Artichoke from tonight because uh, it's a wonderful thing. <laughs> it's a wonderful thing. Been through yeah. the years, and it's really community now, and uh, a lot of different great music coming here. So definitely want to support it. Thank you, and good night. Cheers.